Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Deep Biology. In this tutorial, you will be learn about an important cytogenetic process that is bar body or sex chromatin. The bar body was first observed by Bar and Bartram as a dark crystalline body in interface nerve cells of female cats that was absent in similar cells of males. As we know that human chromosome contains 26 pairs or 46 number of chromosomes. Among these, 44 are autosomes and 2 chromosomes are considered as sex chromosomes. The XY denotes the chromosome sex of male and XX denotes the chromosome sex of Female. In case of females, there is twice the number of X, Y. In male, there is X and number of chromosomes. Due to this gene doses imbalance between males and females and inactivation of X chromosome in mammalian female cells occur at the stage of early embryonic development during undifferentiated conditions at the at eight cell stage. It remains condensed during the interface and is almost completely silent in transcription, whereas the other X chromosome in the cell is decondensed and transcriptionally very active. The inactivation process of one X chromosome in female is called lionization in species with XY sex determinations into the human being. Actually, what happened? During the early embryonic, embryonic development, when zygote rise to blastomere through the process of cleavage at the HT cells, then its cells 50% cells in both male and female chromosomes are randomly inactivated or their activation is lost. This process is known as lionization. B Number of bar body depends on the number of X chromosome in a cell present. Number of bar body follows an n minus one rule where n is the total number of X chromosome. The study of bar body or sex chromosome helps in the study of some congenital diseases like Feinfelter syndrome, Turner, Turner syndrome, and also helpful helpful in some medical legal aspects. Here you can see in the female nucleus of some buccal epithelial barbody are present within the nucleus nucleus and here in case of male there is no existence of bar body in XY chromosomes. Here this is the buccal epithelium smear stained with matoxylin and eucins. Sometimes the sex chromatin or bar body appears as drum steel or sometimes it appears only dot shape. 
Yes. How can we calculate the back body number? As an example, in case of Turner syndrome, there is 45 chromosomes. One X chromosome is absent and these conditions are treated as female. Here, the back body number is male because if we calculate on the basis of n minus 1 formula, then n is in case of Turner syndrome 1 x chromosome. If we calculate n minus 1, that is 1 minus 1, it comes 0. Similarly, in Kleinfeld syndromes, here chromosome number is 47. This is the abnormal case. Here chromosome x chromosome. A twin number and y are one, and this condition it is male conditions. Here, Barbudi is one. How? The formula is n minus one. Here, x are in twin number, that means n equal to two. Two minus one, that means two minus one equal to one. Here. In Kleinfelder conditions, the bar body is 1. What are the underlying mechanisms for inactivation of one X chromosome in female during the embryonic development? In mammalian X chromosome, inactivation is initiated from the X inactivation center or XIC in chromosome number 13 and their longer arm contain a region known as inactivation center, X inactivation center. This X inactivation center on the long arm of the X chromosomes. The X inactivation center contains 12 genes among these seven of which good for proteins. Other five are responsible for untranslated RNA, of which only two are known to play an active role in the X inactivation process. And these two genes are XICT and TSIX. These are the two important genes play a vital role in the mechanism of X inactivation in female. The center also appears to be important in chromosome counting, ensuring that random inactivation only takes place when two X chromosomes are present. Which chromosomes are inactivated in female, whether it is come from paternal origins or maternal origins, it does not mean the whole process are run by randomly. The rule of XICT and TSIS appear to be antagonistic. That means they are play a role oppositely. If one are inactivate the conditions and other are helps to occur in the process. That is their actions are antagonistic or opposite to each other. D XIST gene does not encode a protein but rather produces a non-coding RNA. That means non-coding RNA means that does not produce any active protein. XIST RNA is only expressed in cells containing at least two X and is not normally expressed in male cells. The expression of XIST RNA is only expressed in cells containing at least two X chromosome. That means in females and is not normally expressed in the male cells. Higher the gene expression of XIST can be seen in cells with more X chromosome. In case of Turner syndrome, the XIST expressions are more in comparison to lower X chromosome as say in case of Turner syndromes. More number of X chromosomes are present, the 
XST express shunts are also significantly increased. XST RNA is expressed from an inactive X chromosomes. This XST RNA remains exclusively in the nucleus and is able to put the chromosome from which it was produced. So now the question is why XIST expressed from one X chromosome while it remains silent on the other chromosome. This is important questions arise in our mind that why XIST expressed from only in one X chromosome while it remains silent on the other chromosomes. The answer to this question came after the discovery of XIST's antisense partner that is the picture of TSIX gene or enter the TSIX gene in this scenario. The term emphasis refers to the fact that TSIX is complementary in sequence to XIX gene. TSIX is a non coding array, this is also a non coding RNA like XIX gene. But it is transcribed in the opposite direction across the entire XIST gene. Like XIST, TSIX only acts on the chromosomes that produce E. Moreover, there is an inverse relationship between these two genes, that is TIX and XIST gene, and their expressions. When TSIX transcription is reduced, on one X, XST expression increases and leads to inactivation of that same X chromosome. In contrast, overexpression of TSIX prevents increases in XST expression and blocks inactivation in cis or on that same X. In this way, XST express from one X chromosome, but it remains silent on other chromosomes and these two gene XHT and gene and TSX gene are coordinately regulate the whole process of inactivations of one X chromosome in female. One other important hypothesis related to this barbary of sex chromatin is Lion hypothesis. This hypothesis was given by a renowned scientist Lyon. There, the hypothesis says that gene dose imbalance between males and females because of the presence of two X chromosomes in female, as opposed to only one in males, is compensated for by random inactivation of one of the X chromosomes in the somatic cells of female. That means when female have double X or twice the number of chromosomes and male have only one X chromosome, the one X chromosome of female are became inactive to maintain the balance of gene dose. This random X inactivation occurs in all uterine placental mammals like human making female functional mosaics of heterozygous X-linked genes. But in case of marsupials, the only paternal derived X chromosome is always inactivated in the female animals. The interesting feature is that in case of all uterine placental mammals, the making female functional Mosaics of heterozygous X linked gene. That means, in case of all Euclidean placental mammals, which X chromosome are inactivated, whether it is coming from paternal origin or maternal, it only basis of the randomization. Huh? We cannot say which X chromosome is likely to be inactive. But in case of marsupials, it is definitely we can say that the the, the X chromosome which comes, which came from the paternal genes are definitely became inactive. Here, 
you can see the zygote of x and x to the x x and x to that is x which is comes from the mother and which comes of the father. Yeah, then the process of mitosis and during the cleavage it is divided to further but my degree it is in case in this way and at the H stage cell one blastomere one two three four five six seven eight the maternal origin sometimes it inactivate paternal origin X chromosome and sometimes in it inactivate maternal origin X chromosome it is occurring in randomly we cannot say which chromosome became inactive 50 percent chance is there there 50 percent of the paternal origin X chromosome may get inactive and 50 percent chance is there maternal origin genes became inactive and ultimately it give rise to a mosaic female where 50% of his X coming from father and 50% of his X coming from mother. So this is all about Barbudi or sex Kumati. I hope that with this tutorial you can learn some new inputs. Thank you.